This is a tutorial for the Wit Eden Super 3x3x8 three three Type 2. So I'm going to mix it first. And you just have to know that to solve this one, you should be able to solve a 5x5x5. Five by five by five, and probably a 3x3x2, three 3x3x4, three by three by three by or anything that seems kind of like that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, like usual, is to solve all of the centers along this middle row, as well as edge pieces that go with them. So first you have to make sure that all the center pieces are facing in the same direction, so that you can actually rotate between them. And then you need to put these edge pieces in between them so you can rotate those as well. Like that. Okay, so now I've made everything clear so that you can move freely between these pieces. And first thing to do is to get the centers first. So I'm just going to align them until there's probably about two pieces that are correct for each um for each center piece. Like that. Now for every centerpiece there's two of them correct and except for these two where all of them are correct. There's two of them correct here and two of them correct here. In a case like this where there's only two centerpieces that does this, you wanna make one of them flipped around. So from here I'm going to put this orange up here and replace it with that one. And I'm gonna bring this around and bring it back and everything else is solved. Now the next thing to do is to get these edge pieces. And the easiest ones to deal with are ones that look like this or this, where they have two pieces that are that should go on the same edge piece but are flipped around. So it makes this checkered pattern. So I need to find a piece that'll fit in with it. This blue and purple will fit right here. And I have to make sure it's on the right side. Now from here you have to solve it like a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So I'm going to do R inverted, two layers in, F, R inverted, F inverted, U inverted, R twice, U, and R two, uh, two layers in. So now that solves that first edge piece. And look for any more. There's another one here, like I mentioned earlier. Now I'm going to do the same thing. But like I said, they should be aligned in the right place. And if I move this one down, it's not. So, I just have to take this piece out, out and put it back in a different direction. And now it's in the right spot. So same thing as before. R inverted, two layers in. F, R inverted. F inverted. U inverted. R twice, U, and R two layers in. Now that solves these two pieces, and you're left with only these two. Now in a situation like this, where you have two pieces um, that aren't completely solved, both with two sub-pieces inside here that are in the right direction, and no checkers, you want to make sure that there's one of them here that'll create the checkered pattern. Because using the same move as I did before, this would make this check miss make this a checkered pattern, but it would bring this one right up here and solve this edge piece. So from here, I'm going to do that same move as before, except the opposite way around since it's on the left side. That will be L two layers in, F inverted, L, F, U, L two, L twice, 
U inverted and L inverted twice. L inverted once. Now that solves these three edge pieces, and there's only one left. This one is in this checkered pattern, as you can see. And to do this, you need a certain um, algorithm for this parity. And you should know this if you're doing the if you know how to solve the five by five by five. So it's going to be two R two layers in two B two U L two layers in two U R two layers in inverted two U R two layers in two U two F R two layers in two F L two layers in inverted B twice and R two layers in twice and that solves the parity error. So now from here I just had to align them all so that they're in the correct places. I just have to flip these two so take them out and put them back in a different direction. And that way I solved all the center pieces and the edge pieces that go with them. So I solved the middle layer.